everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Update. This year's eight beautiful Miss Cayman Islands contestants toured Grand Cayman on Saturday. The annual motorcade got underway in central Georgetown in the Royal Bank parking lot. They then headed to West Bay as supporters followed closely behind. Stops were made at the Turtle Farm, the town clock in Georgetown, Pedro Castle, the White House, Miss Veen's Kitchen where they had lunch, and finally at Kaibo before heading back into town. The contestants and committee members enjoy the day, which is an annual tradition. A reminder that tonight, only here on CIG TV, we'll begin airing the contestants' profiles. Also, the public is invited to the unveiling of a new crown. That's on January 28th at the cost of $10. And pageant night is January 30th at the Lion Center. Gates open that night at 6 p.m. and showtime is 7 p.m. We encourage all of you to come out and watch this major community event. Meantime, Heroes Day celebrations will take place in the Cayman Islands next week, Monday, and motorists are reminded of the following road closures. It is a time when the country will reflect upon our proud past and embrace the future as a united people. The 2016 celebration will honor those who have made contributions to the field of agriculture, and the public, again, is invited to join the festivities. Road closures will begin from 6 p.m. Uh, this Friday, the 22nd, until uh, 9 p.m. on Monday, the 25th of uh, January. The, the following streets will be closed for setup and breakdown of the celebrations. The junction of Fort Street and North Church Street, Fort Street by the Clock Tower, Edward Street at the junction of Edward Street and Main Street, the end of Edward Street at the junction of Edward Street and Cardinal Avenue, and Albert Panton Street at the junction of Albert Panton Street and Cardinal Avenue. Now the same streets will be opened just temporarily though from 12 a.m. until 12 noon. Uh, this coming Saturday the 23rd. If you have any questions regarding this event, please contact protocol coordinator Melanie Sims on email at melanie, that's M-E-L-O-N-E-Y dot Sims, S-Y-M-S at gov dot K-Y, or give her a call at 244-3612. Well, the Ministry of Home Affairs is set to introduce hybrid vehicles as a part of its strategic objective to make Cayman better. It is projected the initiative will not only reduce the burden on the public purse, but also reduce the government's carbon footprint, thus help to protect the environment. The pilot will introduce two hybrid Ford Fusions into the Royal Cayman Islands Police Services fleet within the next month. The hybrids will be monitored for performance and the results will inform a broader strategy of using more environmentally friendly tools that decrease the overall cost of operations concerning the government fleet. Now, the introduction of the hybrid cars fits nicely with our plans to review the national energy policy with a view to reducing our carbon footprint, said Minister, said Minister of Environment uh, Mr. Wayne Pant and meantime Chairman of the National Energy Policy, MLA Winston Connolly says he applauds the ministry and its efforts. Well, if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush as always wishing you a wonderful and safe night and hoping you'll join me back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.